Hey guys, JJX, I come back to you guys with a brand new YouTube video, and today I got an athletic bodyweight workout for you guys that I actually just performed mid-season, so it's not the hardest workout or anything like that, but it's just to touch upon a couple things I want to improve on, like upper body strength and also a little bit of endurance work. So we're utilizing, uh, we're utilizing the plyometric push-up, split squat, pike push-up, calf raise, tricep dip, and alternating lunge jumps. So I'm going to have some demonstrations for you guys and tell you guys some of the benefits of these exercises. So first we have the plyometric push-up, which will improve basically overall you're just your your chest strength, a little bit in the tricep as well, but mainly predominantly in the chest, um, the elasticity in the tissue in the chest, and allow you to create more power in shorter amounts of times, which is more important for athletics. Um, split squat, just to overall develop strength in the legs, um, better stability since you're balancing on one leg, which is what tends to happen when sprinting. Well, not ten step, and that's what happens during sprinting and other exercises. Um, overall, split squat is just a great exercise, and I'm going for ten reps here, um, one on each leg, and this is just for muscle symmetry. You know, you don't want to be asymmetric relative to strength because that can cause injury, in my own opinion, and what also seems to be happening the most. Um, next, after the split squat, we actually got the pike push up. This actually works on like all the regular muscles that the push-up usually hits, but it incorporates the traps. And if you want to make this exercise more difficult, you can just make a greater, a greater angle where you're trying to make your body into a V. After that, just have some calf raises to overall just get better stiffness inside the ankles for injury prevention, and just a little bit of extra strength. Nothing serious here, just it's just more or less just tacked onto the workout. Next, we have the tricep dip, which I'm utilizing partially for the chest and also for the lats. The lats are actually used to stabilize and you also need to create um, adduction with the arms. So if you focus on squeezing your hands into together without actually moving them, you will actually activate the lats more. And utilizing all these exercises, you'll actually hit just about all the muscle groups. So this, this is just me finishing off my reps. Notice how I don't dip too much past the 90 degree marker at the elbow joint. Next, we have the alternating lunge jump, which is, which is the real thing of the workout. Overall, just improves lower leg, I mean, uses, uh, and improves lower body coordination. Uh, muscle endurance inside the legs predominantly, not much in the upper body. It also increases strength overall, and also just increases the stretch reflex, and a bunch of benefits, like increased the amount of power and whatnot. So overall, it's just a great addition to the workout, and it's great if you're trying to improve your endurance. Again, all these exercises can be performed at home, as long as you have a stable surface and something to prop yourself on. And that is it. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video.